Hello everyone. I hope you had a fantastic day of binging anime and reading manga. Is that just my ideal version of a perfect morning? Maybe? Anyway, we have brought you a spectacular feast of recommendations. As always, these recommendations are ranked according to my opinions. These are not based upon facts. Also, my opinions change 24-7, so there is a very high chance that I too may not agree with these rankings tomorrow. Every day, I experience a new anime, so my thoughts are bound to change. However, I'm sure you will find a hidden gem on this list. These characters never fail to crack me up. As much as I want to continue explaining myself, we don't have any time to waste. Let's get started. I love Kiznavir. I rewatched it during the summer because the storyline is unique. It's upsetting that it doesn't get the recognition it deserves, so I'm here today to do it justice. Kiznavir is about these seven students that all belong to the same high school. Each of them has a scar on their bodies. This scar is the physical representation of their bond. If one of them is feeling internal pain, happiness, suffering, and such, they will all feel it. Katsuhira Agata is our main character, and he is the worst choice for this project. Why? Well, that's because he feels no pain. This anime revolves around crimes and capturing the culprits. So, cool. Isn't it? Want to know more? School students are the ones that mainly capture the criminals. Isn't it nostalgic? Well, of course, because the concept is similar to our cartoons. So, you have to watch this one. Kinji is a true hero, ask why? That's because he transformed from being the weakest to the strongest. And let me shock you. He became strong after having skin ship. I know it's insane, but you're going to like it. Classroom Crisis is set in a world where humans have already colonized the planets of the Milky Way. That's insane. The series follows the journey of the ATEC class and their dreams of creating an innovative engine named the X2. But hold on. This class consists of high schoolers. Not only are these teens working for a rocket company, but they also are trying to get through puberty. Our main character is Najisa Kiryu, he is the youngest of the Kiryu family that owns the Kirishima Corporation. His mission to shut down ATEC. Najisa is considered inferior in his family, so he doesn't have any footing when it comes to facing them. What happens when Najisa finds something he is passionate about? Is he willing to go against his family for it? So, uh, Washu, why in the world am I here? Well, Master Chenchi, it's a long story, but there's someone who's in desperate need of your help. Tenchi Mayo. War on Jaminer is about Kenshi Masaki who is content with living on Earth. He doesn't want to travel to Jaminer, which is an alternate world. Also, Kenshi is 15 year old. He's a kid. Sadly, he gets kidnapped and sent to Jaminer. Upsetting for him, hilarious for me. How can he get back home? By assisting in an assassination attempt aimed for the new Empress of Streyu Empire. He starts off as a slave assassin, goes up to servant status, then he becomes a knight. It's wild, but great. The student council has arrived. Believe it, sister. Get ready, everyone. Now let's directly at this. Megalobox is a fantastic and riveting anime about a man who goes from 0 to 1000. Our main character is known only by his notorious ring name, Junk Dog. Junk Dog, nicknamed Joe, is a slumdog boxer who desperately wants to become a legit boxer, but the only way to achieve his dreams is by entering in the Megalonia tournament. Megalobox is set in a world where boxing has become much more advanced technology-wise. Boxers in this dimension have metal frames to aid them in competitions. It's a deadly art. 
楽しい鬼ごっこの始まりだスカイウォー If you thought your life sucked, just take a look at our main character. Hiki Kurigane is the lowest ranked person in his academy. He is F rank. His magical power is known as the worst one. Since he really shows no talent, he is forced to repeat an entire year. Will Hiki change after meeting the prodigy, Stella Vermillion? <laughs> Y'all are going to love Aladdin. Oh my gosh, he's too funny and easy going. Alibaba is one of the main protagonists of this series, and he used to be the third prince of Balbid Kingdom. But he didn't live a lavish life as one. He spent his childhood with his mother in the slums. One thing led to another, and now Alibaba is a cart driver. He truly is nothing special. Alibaba isn't powerful in this world where magic exists. But throughout the series, his weak rank rises as he faces some of the most dangerous opponents with Aladdin by his side. <laughs> Guys. The Demon King Anno's Voldigat is still alive after 2000 years. He is reincarnated and wakes up in a world that is unknown to him. Demons are classified by pure and hybrids. The pure demons discriminate against the hybrids. Racism is evident everywhere. Anno sacrificed himself for the peace of the world, obviously, he was pretty ticked off. To restore balance once more, Anno must reclaim his stance as the Demon King. But that's only if he can manage to graduate from Demon King Academy. No one will ever believe he was the former great king. In this magical world, people are ranked by their nobility and strong mana. If you don't have one of them, you're going to have a tough life. If you have neither, you're screwed. A s t a belongs to the latter. He isn't a royal and he doesn't have mana. A s t a is considered to be of the lowest class. But this ranking system isn't going to stop a s t a from becoming the wizard king. How can a s t a become the most powerful person in the Clover Kingdom without magic? Watch to find out, my friends. And cut. That marks the end of our 10 anime, where the overpowered main character has the lowest rank list. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it. It's always fun to watch our main characters being underestimated. Why? Isn't that too cruel? No, because that means our payback will be a lot sweeter in time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell for more anime content like this. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. See ya.